What's up guys, Justin here with thecgessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out a new add-on that allows you to quickly save your different views with thumbnails in Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. So Save Views is an add-on for Blender that allows you to quickly save and restore your different views inside of Blender. It's a really simple add-on, but I think it's pretty functional. And we'll talk about an alternative as well um, later on in the video. All right, so in Blender, what you want to do is you want to install this add-on and then you make sure that you've enabled object saved views. That's going to allow us to use this add-on. Note that you have the ability down below to change the keyboard shortcut for the pop-up panel, which we'll talk about in a second. But um, basically what we want to do is we want to go into our scene and this is a model that I downloaded from Sketchfab and um, I want to save a couple different views. And so you can either go into the right hand side under your view, under saved views, or you can do a control W in order to add views over here. And basically what you do is you just do a control W and you click the little plus button right here and it's going to save a view. Now, Notice what this does is this actually saves your view, but not only does it save it, it also generates a thumbnail of that view, which um, I think if you're working with multiple different views can be really helpful. So if I click in here again, notice how I can add multiple different views like this. So let's say I wanted to save a top down view. I could click right here in order to do that. And so you can rename these in the panel over here. Um, it says that you can rename them over here by double clicking, but it's not actually allowing me to do that. But you can do that over here. So we could call this front two. We could call this top, other things like that. And so one cool thing about this is if I want to add a camera, I can just do a control W add camera right here. And that's going to drop a camera in in that location. So if I was to go right here, click on add camera, that's going to automatically add those different cameras in here like this. Now, one thing I will note about this is there is a free add-on in Blender built in that does something similar. It's called stored views. So if you go into your preferences and you do a stored and you enable stored views, that's going to give you a window over here on the right hand side of the page. Um, it's also in the view toolbar under stored views right here. Now, what I will say about this one though, is this one only saves your views by clicking on the save current like this, and it doesn't give you thumbnails. So the problem with that is those can get a little difficult to manage after a while. Um, so um, you can label them obviously. So we could call this like back view or something like that. And you can toggle between those different views by clicking in the little box right here. So if you're looking for a free alternative, this is definitely a good one. It does also give you the ability to add a new camera. The difference is your saved views from Amandeep is going to give you the ability to see those uh, thumbnails right here. So you're basically paying the $6 or whatever the add-on is for that thumbnail functionality. Personally, for me, I find the thumbnails to be really helpful, especially if I'm saving a lot of views. Um, this is something that could definitely be a time saver, at least for me, but I can understand why other people wouldn't want that or wouldn't need that. And they just use the stored views that are built in. So either way, you've got options inside of Blender for saving and getting back to those views really quickly in your scenes. So whether you're using the paid one or the free one, I recommend you use one of them because they can save you a lot of time. All right. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this add-on. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.